They, they should expect that it's an origin story, that it goes back to the beginnings of Winnie the Pooh when he, at Milne and Shepard created that. And it's truly a story, you know, about the joy of life, about the heart. You know, Winnie's sweater is red, so that red means it's about the heart, and that's what people should expect, that they can laugh and cry. I think it's not just a teddy bear like you want to hug as a little kid, but it's also a bear when you grow up that, you know, has all these poisms. They're full of wisdom and philosophy. And, and sometimes there's everybody wants to have a friend like Pooh, you know, who can be there. Sometimes when you feel lonely or something, it's like Pooh, there's to know there's a, there's a Pooh bear you can always go to. That, that's actually more pressure than usual because it, the, poo, the bear is from here, it's from the UK. He was born here, so to speak, so, so it's like going to the place of birth. So it's very, like, you know, I hope it goes well. I, I was skipped, you know, it's, it's post-war, World War II, so the, the city is quite gray and a lot of fog at the beginning, and once he gets out to the country, to 100 Acre Woods, one can expect the sun to shine. Uh, adults can basically take from that story that we can't let our inner child die. It's all about letting our inner child come out. Uh, ab absolutely. I, I, I believe it has relevance because, you know, Ewan McGregor's character is an efficiency manager and we all try to manage our time. <laughs> it's about time management and ultimately everybody works so much these days that we can't forget to spend time with the people we love. Jim Cummings, because we are so used to his voice from the cartoons, that you feel like when you hear his voice, it's like a warm blanket. It's like, oh, I got, just got home. <laughs>